bless the name of the Lord for the package has reserved for you tonight. Bless the name of the Lord. For the encounter he has reserved for you. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. You don't struggle with any door to which you have the key. Our struggle is a result of our keylessness. You have the key, you're smiling as you approach the door. No tension. One way to develop sudden temperature is to lose the key to your car. Particularly when you are outside. If you're in the house, no problem. You can take a taxi and go to wherever you are going. Your temperature shoots up because of loss of key. The knowledge of the truth is the key to abundant life. He said to the lawyers of those days, one to you lawyers who are taking away the key of knowledge. Luke 11, 52. My prayer is that you will leave this service in the morning with the key to financial dominion in your hand. look out for the key when you are in a meeting like this and when you are reading books and listening to anointed teachers. Look out for the key. What must I do to enter into this realm? That's the key. It's not what we know that changes our lives. It's what we do with what we know that does. Without knowing what to do, you have not found the key. You have only heard the stories. Knowing what to do. My co laborer son in the ministry is here. He built his first house as a civil servant. And how much was it? But the blessing. The blessing. I was there myself to bless the house. At that time, I don't know anybody in that system that had the house. The blessing. The blessing. The blessing. You either have the blessing or so retain the struggles. But today, the key to the blessing that sets people free from struggles will land in your hand. Yeah. As you receive the word in your heart. Many people's struggles will end here tonight. Amen. 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 I mean, your own struggles Amen. must end here tonight. Amen. Father, I desire the key. Grant me access to the key to a world of financial dominion. I've had the first word. I thank you for what you released to me. I'm waiting on you right now. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen.
Say with me, I belong to a breakthrough family. The family of God. Where we are located on top of the mountains. Where we are not permitted to be found in the valley. I also belong to the winner's family. A globally renowned breakthrough family. I refuse to be the odd person out. Breakthrough must become my identity tonight. And that for life. And for a thousand generations to come. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please be seated. I have dominion. If you see me when I am caught up, that desire to return with the key to a world of financial dominion will be added, handed to you. You can't see anybody sleeping and dozing. So awake thou that sleepest. Arise from the dead and Christ shall give thee light. Please know that God still controls all things by the power of his word. Hebrews 1.3 so, your access to his word on any subject puts you supernaturally in command of it. <laughs> God still controls all things by the power of his word. I am the Lord, the And so, our access to his word concerning any subject matter establishes our dominion over it. Marados Kekutameros Zezuare Shanga. This church has been in command by the power of his word. Ma Tenosanova. Empro Bialish Agalato Sepalos. I know no man after the flesh. Whatever God cannot do, let it remain undone. That's where I stand. Wherever God can take me to, let me never get there. And whatever God cannot give me, may I never have it. And I've stood like that 38 years. He still controls the whole of creation up till now by the power of his word. From his word, I gained dominion over marital issues and have enjoyed each free marriage up till now without pretenses. Tenos Cupania Elombra Dagalo. This church is an ever growing church by the power of his word. Very gorgeous encounter, 24th of March, 1984. That launched this church into the realm of unstoppable, irresistible growth as we have it today. It still controls the world by the power of his world. That's what I could say. I'm not surprised that we're where we are. I saw where we are going from his world. By saying what to do to get there. Now, the Bible is a book of covenants. Every provision of scriptures has conditions to meet. When the condition is met, it translates to a covenant. That's the simplest interpretation of a covenant. Meeting the conditions attached to every provision makes it a covenant. A promise graduates into a covenant. By fulfilling the obligations attached to that provision for its raw delivery. Amen. Amen. That anybody, anybody, any new 
come back and understand that. Now, God so loved the world, great. He gave his only begotten son. Now, that whosoever believes, not whosoever he has, should not perish. Or have, so you have to believe, not to perish. Even though the gift is free. What shall we do to prove that we believe? Repent. <laughs> Repent. So, uh, there is no free provision in scriptures. Every provision of scriptures has conditions attached for the provision to become a reality. And when you and I fulfill those conditions, it becomes a binding thing on God. That is a covenant to fulfill. So instead of crying, you know, your cries and my cries won't change scriptures and can't break scriptures. God lives under the authority of his word. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because the scriptures cannot be broken. 40 days fasting won't do it. 100 days won't do it. One year, coughing blood won't do it. The Old Testament and Covenant are the same. So what you call Old and New Testament will just be Old and New Covenant. <laughs> old and New Covenant. Both ratified by the blood of Jesus. So there is nothing mystical about Covenant. Okay, Covenant. What is Covenant? And you now go to history, go to Greek. You know, very simple. <laughs> Covenant. In the name of Jesus, no one in your generation will be termed a beggar. So, access to the world that establishes your financial dominion is what you need. And if you choose to comply, you have committed God's integrity to confirm. Amen. What if they believe not? Yet he abides faithful. He cannot deny himself. Second Timothy 2 Timothy 2.13 So to walk in financial dominion, we must come to understand the conditions attached to the provision of financial dominion in scriptures. That was the motivation that drove me into God's presence in 1982 for three days. Jesus, show me the secret of kingdom prosperity. That's what I call it. And first day, you see, prayer becomes relevant this way. Call upon me, I will answer you. I'll show you, I'll show you. You pray to see what those conditions are. Amen. To see the provision and see the conditions. Open my eyes and may behold wondrous things. So prayer is relevant in every aspect of the believer's life. Amen. It's relevant. So we pray to see the provision. We pray to see the conditions. And we pray for grace to comply. Amen. So prayer, prayer is relevant. It's in everything by prayer. That's not a joke. That's the truth. Some can see and may not see it till they die. Others see the provision. They couldn't see the condition. So they continue frustration. Others see the condition, they had no grace to run with it. And so, the same story. He said, as you are bound in faith, in law, in knowledge, and in your love towards us, see that you are bound in this grace also. The given grace is delivered by prayer. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. By the help of God, I continue to this day. So uh, we, we call for that help. Call, 
Let's come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So we pray to assess grace. We pray to assess light, both to see the provisions and the conditions attached. Glory to God. So on the third day, the Lord showed me the gateway to a world of financial dominion. From Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord your God. For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. That he may establish to you his covenant. His, his covenant. His covenant. His covenant. Which is swear unto thy fathers. As it is this day. So we need an understanding of his covenant. To be empowered for wealth in a world of wreck, a world of up and down, a world of you are up today, you crash tomorrow. We, we need an understanding of his covenant because whatever the Lord doeth, it shall be what? Forever. There are many people here tonight across the nations of the earth under the canopy of this apostolic ministry. <laughs> mm. Who will never know the meaning of lack again forever. They will never know the meaning of lack again forever. So the Lord spoke to me from that scripture <laughs> with Rema. When God answered with Rema, you have entered the realm. He said, My son David, my Prosperity plan is not a promise. And so it does not answer to prayers. My prosperity plan is not a promise. It has no respect for fasting. My prosperity plan is a covenant. And until your part is played, I am not committed. I had it raw from heaven. What then is your covenant, Jesus? Genesis 8, 22. Why the earth remained? Seed time and harvest. And cold and heat and summer and winter. And day and night shall not cease. My covenant is the covenant of seed time and harvest. What is seed time and harvest? In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 and 7, it said, But this I say that he which sweareth spiritually shall live spiritually, and he which sweareth bountifully shall live bountifully. So, every man as he purposes in his heart, let him give. So, giving is sowing. Amen. Giving is sowing. Not grudgingly, not necessarily, but God loves a cheerful giver. And in return, God is able to make all grace abound towards you. Seed time and then harvest. Seed time and then harvest. You know the law and you understand the procedure. Let him know, let, let him give cheerfully, eh? not grudgingly of the necessity. And so the harvest will be guaranteed. As God makes all grace abound towards you. So that you have an all sufficiency in all things may abandon to every good work. So, seed time and harvest is giving and receiving. Now, in Philippians chapter 4, it says, You Philippians know that in the beginning of the gospel, verse 15, no church communicated with me concerning giving and receiving. So, what is seed time and harvest? Giving. Come on, let me hear you say it. Giving and receiving. What is seed time and harvest? Giving and receiving. So, if you are not a giver, you are not a candidate for kingdom prosperity. Giving and receiving. Giving and receiving. That is seed time and harvest. Giving and receiving. Giving and receiving. Then I said, my God, how reliable is this covenant? Then heaven broke loose. I mean, I mean, heaven broke loose. That scripture, heaven's opened it to me. I have never read it. If I did, I didn't understand it. Right in that vision. 
Except my covenant be not with the day. If you can't break my covenant of the day and the night, then may also my covenant with my servant day will be broken. They should not have a son to reign in his place. And with the Levites, my priest. That's why we're coming. So my covenant with the redeemed is as binding as the covenant of the day and of the night. Until you can stop the day and night from exchanging position, you can't make the covenant of no effect. The covenant reigns as long as the day and the night are in place. Why the atrimony? As long as we're on this hour, the covenant of seed time and harvest remains in force. Remains in force. Only give us ever prosper. Only give us ever prosper. Receivers don't prosper. You don't prosper by what to receive. You prosper by what to give. It is more blessed to give than to receive. You receive to consume. You give to secure the next blessings. Amen. Can I hear your amen? amen? Is somebody taking it now? Because one word from God can change your life. Turn it around 360 degrees. Only give us a empowered to prosper. Therefore, receive that giving grace upon your life today. Receive that giving grace upon your life today. So giving does not help the ones to whom you give. It helps in changing your levels. Giving is for your profiting far beyond the profiting of the people to whom you give. My prayer is that each one will return home today with this covenant mentality. Yeah. And what makes it easy? We are permitted to start from where we are. He said, from the place we are thou art. Look northwards and southwards and eastward and westward. For all the land we thou seest unto you will I give it. From where you are. No commandment of scriptures is ordained to be burdensome. From where you are. Start there. When our total income in church was 18,000 plus in 1984, the whole of the year, my own seed was there. That was our level, all of us. Praise God. I'd like to show us just something before we close in this session. I captioned this clip, Wonders of Sowing into Kingdom Advancement and Divorce. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 2 to 11. Okay, chapter 1, sorry. Chapter 1 and verse 2 to 11. Then came the word of the Lord of hosts. These people say the time is not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. Then came the word of the Lord by Agai the prophet saying, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses, and this house lies waste? Now therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have so much, and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm, 
and he that earned wages, earned wages to put it into a bag with holes. Thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up to the mountain now and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified, said the Lord. You look for much and Lord came to little and when you brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why, said the Lord, because of my house that is waste and ye run every man to his house. And what happens? Therefore, the heaven over you is dead from dew, and the earth from yielding our fruit. And I, God, called for a drought upon the land, and upon the mountains, and upon the corn, and upon the new wine, and upon the oil, and upon that which the ground bringeth forth, and upon men, and upon cattle, and upon all the labor of the earth. I shot the heaven because you have not minded my house. I shot the heaven because you feel secured by where you are. Go up to the mountain and I will reopen the heaven. So kingdom promotion investments opens the heavens. Opens the heavens. And releases heaven's favor over our lives and our endeavors in life. Amen. Seek ye first the interest of the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added unto you. All is a word of unlimited favor. All. All. By giving the kingdom of God its priority place in your life, particularly in your finances. It endears you to God. It unleashes heaven's blessings on you because you favor his house. Hear what he said. Let them shout for joy that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. We take it pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Psalm 35 and verse 27. So God delights in prospering people that favor his righteous cause, that are committed to promoting the interest of his kingdom with their resources. There was a man that grew and increased exceedingly. His name David. In Psalm 132, beginning from verse 1, God speaking, I mean, David speaking, Lord, remember David and his in all his afflictions. How he swore unto the Lord and vowed unto the mighty God of Jacob, saying what? Surely I will not come into my tabernacle, the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes and slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord, an habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Amen. What a vow. Now, in First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 3, David speaking said, Moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my God. Amen. He was a super wealthy king. If you read that scripture to verse 7, in the modern translations, you see how many millions of dollars of worth of gold and silver that David gave in preparation for the building of the temple. Even when God told him, I won't let you build it. He said, God, can I have your permission to gather materials for it? The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. So David was celebrated 3,000 years after he passed on in Israel. His resting place is still preserved today. And visitors troop in there day after day. Thousands of years after he left. Our affection for his house 
demonstrated by our investment in promoting its cause opens the heavens over our lives. Amen. 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 Receive that grace now. Amen. Receive that grace now. What drives our given life is our love for God. So, giving grace is simply asking grace to love you more. God so loved the world and God so gave. He gave his only begotten son. God's love is a giving law. If you are not a giver, you are not a true lover. He said we can prove the sincerity of our love by our giving life. Second Corinthians 8.8 8. He said this do to prove the sincerity of your love. Abraham, God's friend, so love God that he will give his only son that he waited for for 25 years for free. And Abraham was taken in age and God has blessed him in all things. And in his seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because you have done this thing. So, David so loved the Lord, a man after God's own heart. And David so blessed of God that what David gave was above what all the elders of Israel gave. And Solomon loved the Lord and God made him a showpiece of his prosperity agenda on the earth. He became the wealthiest king that ever lived. Giving becomes a delight when you have a heart for God. Giving becomes a delight when you have a heart for God. Giving becomes a delight when you have a heart for God. Many will come under sworn blessing this month. Amen. You are one of them. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Amen. When God swears a blessing on you, your struggles financially come to an end. 1987, we were out to plant the first uh, five churches in our ministry by the commandment of the Lord. It's time to spread out. And so, we were prepared to take my degree, to take Azare, to take Bill. To take Mobi and to take which one? Bauchi. <laughs> and I said, Jesus, where is money not coming? He said, Give me that car. My heart rejoiced. And I went to my wife and said, God just said, He needed this car. He said, Praise the Lord. And so the car went. On my way home that evening, we hear what God said to me <laughs> My son, even if you don't want to be rich, it's too late. I had him life. It's not fabricated. It's not the following day. It's not that something has happened. And uh, you know the way I do my thing? I say, shared it immediately. There is nothing secret about the kingdom. What I tell you in secret, shout on the house top. Is it not too late now? It's too late. Not only that can never be poor, nobody in my generation can be poor. Nobody in my land can be poor. Nobody. Nobody. I heard from God, one seed, one, one seed, one time seed of one nonsense car. Of one nonsense car. That was 87, 94 we started flying, I mean 96 we started flying. It's not long. And we are not flying under stress there's no prayer over the aircraft. Something. 
<laughs> Glory to God. Somebody's changing level here. You can't have a heart for God and not make strange marks on the earth. You can't have a heart for God and not make strange marks on the earth. 1984, October 3, we had a little meeting in our little church in Kaduna, a few of us who are leaders. And I said, now we need a 3,000 naira to pay off our rent of the church facility. That will tell you how costly things were then. <laughs> 3,000 naira. I said, if I have this money, God won't appear to me to give it. But now that we are all at the same level, understand what I'm saying? Because a time is coming when some of us take off in the air. And you start complaining and grumbling. We don't even know what they're using. They're using charm. They're using medicine. They're using pharmacy. <laughs> I said, let me tell you what I'm using. I am sold out to God. That is how to stand out in life. Just be genuinely sold out. Stop playing nonsense religion. Be genuinely sold out to God. There is nothing since 1976 that I am or had that God has no access to. I deliberately turn my heart on everything and focus my life on Jesus. He has not disappointed once. There are people here today, the last struggle you had is the last you ever know in your life. Let me hear your loudest amen, everybody. So, investment in promoting kingdom, the kingdom of God on the earth, opens the heaven over our lives. I pray that the heaven over your life will never be short anymore. Amen. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let's close with this note. In Job chapter 22, verse 21 to 25, and that's where we're closing. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace, thereby shall good come unto thee. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in your heart. So we need the law and the procedure that will empower the law for maximum delivery. Receive the law. Operate the law by the principles of his word. If thou return to the Almighty, shall be built up and thou shalt put iniquity from you so you don't sow unrighteous seed. Otherwise it will not be acceptable. The Bible says, then shall the uh, seed of Judah be acceptable and well placed into God. So, so <laughs> we have to sow the seed in righteousness. You don't deal in drugs and give us an offering. It doesn't add any value to you. are devaluing the lives of others. You can't have value. Praise God. You don't steal to give. You're only reporting yourself to God. This is how much I stole. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. And what will it do? It will purify us as silver is purified. And then, then will our offerings be acceptable to God. Not everything is acceptable to God. May you begin to give acceptable offering from now. <laughs> now, back to Job, Job 22. He said, then shall thou lay up gold as dust. That's money has lost value. Dust. And the God of offers the stones of the brew. Then the Almighty shall be thy defense. There's no matter who is angry, it won't affect you. And thou shalt have plenty of silver. The Almighty shall be your defense. When God blesses you, forget about the devil. When God blesses you, he protects the blessing. Forget about the devil. The wicked shall sit and gnash with their teeth. And the desire of the wicked shall perish. So forget about the wicked. They can't have effect on you. When God is one blessing you, 
no devil can cause you. Now, welcome to your realm of uncausable blessing. Yeah. Your irreversible blessing. Yeah. Numbers 23 and verse 8. Bela was hired to cause Israel. He said, how shall I cause whom God has not caused? Or how shall I defy whom the Lord has defied? Verse 20. He said, I've received a commandment to bless and he has blessed and I cannot reverse it. When God blesses you, no agent of the devil can reverse it. My prayer for you tonight is that an end comes to all forms of financial struggles in your life. I'm glad to let you know that 3,114 churches have been planted this year. Amen. And we are set to go into 1,200 next Sunday. So we have only 600 more to go and we are finishing that by the end of the month. Making 5,000 churches this year. Come on, give the Lord a big hand of praise. What an opportunity for anybody in this church to be part of this move. And I'll be sharing that with you at the end of this week. We have enjoyed everything. We don't give because there's a need. We give because we want our needs to be met. Yes, sir. Can I hear your amen? amen. <laughs> not even to God. He said, if I were hungry, I would not have asked you. You are not in the class of those who can help me. Nobody on this earth is in the class of those who can help God. Nobody. 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 Hundreds of millions have gone into it. No stress. No strain. All we are saying is, see an opportunity, dive into it, make the most of it. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Somebody pay the wages of the first 1,000 phase that we have. 1,000. The salaries of the missionaries. Written up by someone. Life it's all about knowing the right way to go and going there. Knowing the right thing to do and doing it. Knowing the right step to take and taking it. Beginning from where you are. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet, everybody. Give the Lord the biggest club offering. Hallelujah. Now, this is how kingdom mysteries work. You catch it, you run with it. You leave it, it slips off your hand. He said, walk while ye have the light. Lest darkness overtake you. Jesus said, yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light. Let darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. Arise, get out of the country, and so Abraham departed. Arise, circumcise all the firstborn, and he rose. As soon as God departed, he began to circumcise them. Arise, take up yourself. He woke up early in the morning, he took off. That's how to make the most of every revelation. Not dragging your feet and not knowing where you're going. I can tell you this, you are changing level. Yeah. Lift up those two hands, everybody, and give God thanks for the light. Give God thanks for the light. Give God thanks for the light. And receive grace to dive into it. It's your opportunity. The heaven over you is about to be open. Please put your hands together for Jesus Christ and you may be seated. Make it bigger, 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 louder. You can make it bigger. I have dominion. 
Right now is time for personal supplication. Praise God. <laughs> 